today is Thursday, which means it's time for our weekly report from Crime Stoppers of the Quad Cities. And as you can see, we have a theme going today. Yeah. Uh, baseball season started, and so we're going to try to strike out some crime in the yes. Quad Cities. You're a Mets fan. Correct. I'm a Yankees fan. So we uh, we would be on the opposite sides of the aisle as far as teams, but we can agree on one thing, that we're going to fight crime. Yes. So let's do that. Let's uh, go ahead and start with our featured crime of the week. Police in Walcott looking for two suspects after a storage unit was burglarized. Yeah, this one was uh, March 21st, uh, early in the morning around 7.30. Uh, male suspect trying a lot of doors with a key, found one that opened, ended up taking uh, around $500 worth of collectibles, some matchbox, uh, other cars and things like that. And then there's a female driver. Vehicle looks like to be maybe a green or blue Toyota Corolla 2006 to 2012 model. Okay, pretty good picture of the of the suspect too. Yeah, so if you know who those people are, we'll give you a mound of uh, cash. A mound of cash. For sure. Keep sticking yeah. with our baseball theme. All right, we have two wanted suspects this week. Let us know uh, about this guy. This is uh, Austin Pyle. Yeah, he's wanted by felony uh, or felony theft out of Moline, and uh, he's kind of recognizable with his uh, neck tattoo there. So if you know where Austin is, uh, throw some money your way. All right, sounds good. And uh, our second wanted suspect is Angela Brandmeyer. She's got multiple drug charges out of Scott County and Rock Island County. So if you know where Angela is, uh, come up to bat and uh, we'll throw you some cash. Sounds great. All right, if you recognize any of those suspects, or anything about that crime of the week, just call Crime Stoppers. There's the number. We tell you about it every week. You can also do the P3 Tips app. And, of course, all tips are anonymous, and you could earn a cash reward. Um, thinking good things for the Mets this year? No, thinking bad things. You don't have to have good taste to be involved with Crime Stoppers, apparently. <laughs> Well, let's hope both our teams do well, and let's hope we get some tips and get these uh, uh, suspects off the streets. For sure. All right, thanks for coming in today. Thanks for having me.